Hello everybody, this is Havoc, and welcome back to Manalords, our medieval city builder that has been seven years in the making. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I'm looking forward to seeing what everything does, all the stuff and things, and let's get right on into it. So, in the first part, we established our town of Havocsville. We are looking to upgrade once we get to level two. Now, I will say this first and foremost. We went down charcoal burning. Eventually, probably would do deep mining, but I took a look at things and I realized that we don't really see any benefits from deep mining. We could do for clay deposits and for iron deposits, that's great. But much more important is something like a rich deposit. So a rich deposit of iron will give us indefinite, or unlimited rather, uh, things once we research deep mining. So. Havocsville doesn't need deep mining. Uh, what would this be? Waldenbrand needs it, or what is that? Uh, Nuslu needs deep mining. And I think we would go over here today if we can, because we could get a deep or a rich buried deposit, which would be heckin' awesome. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. We're going to try and expand. I think it makes sense to go into some farming areas, maybe even some trade logistics, actually. We're gonna go trade. I have a thing in mind uh, that we could possibly do to make that all work. But what we need to do now is we need to see where we're at. Hmm. We are going to work through our first year. That's not gonna be a problem. Um, I do remember that we don't have bada bing, bada boom, or all of these full. Nice. Okay, so we should start getting, uh, should start getting a lot of stuff and goods in. We do have a woodcutter's log working, our logging camp, and our charcoal kiln. So I think what would be safe to do is we may get into farming this episode. And so, ooh, a bandit camp was sighted. Brilliant, we gotta go to it fast. So let's go ahead and muster our men while we're at it. And then we need, a, we have 11 timber. We actually have a lot of houses that aren't currently having anyone in it. So we're not gonna worry about more housing. More housing would not benefit us, but I do think what would benefit us Starting to work on iron production. Now, I'm kind of going through and doing things a bit un... Well, I won't say unnaturally. But, like, I'm finding directions through through the forest, as it were. And using those as my guiding stars for my roads. Just because, I mean, like, it makes sense. Like, this is the path of least resistance. So, why wouldn't that be something that would happen? Uh, what we can do... Are our men ready? don't think they're ready no they're not they're just right there chilling what we are gonna have to do is we are gonna have to start getting into a saw pit i think that is uber uber necessary in order for us to start making planks which we really really need and then what i think we might do is we will probably get into farming or at least establish a farming community if we go over here uh let's see we do have our water paths and i don't remember is this this isn't where our well is our well's right there. Okay, so that's actually really, really good. But what I think we might do is I do believe, yes, we have some great fertility right here. And so we're going to go ahead and work on that while our men muster over there. Because I do think while we won't be able to do anything today in that regard, I do still think we could make this work very, very well in our favor. Now, let's go ahead and just establish a few fields. I think we're going to work on four fields. Uh, we may do three fields. There's one field. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. Do I care? Also, well, I do care a little bit. I'm not going to lie. But there also may not be anything that I can really do about it. Hmm. Let's just do three for now. We're going to do three massive fields. Go ahead and draw the lines out there, even though that's like the edge of the map where we probably couldn't do anything anyways. Well, you know what? Let's go ahead and just draw it just to see what would happen. You never know. Maybe someone will come through. I don't know. Let's go right like this. Would it be really, really weird to just have a really big, awkward thing like this? It would. But we're going to do it anyways. And then what we're going to do is our men are ready to rumble in the jungle. We do need to go to this bandit camp like ASAP. So we're going to head all right here. And while I wait for that, we are going to set up our farming. So what I typically like to do here is the reason why I do three fields is I like to have one year on, two years off. 
So by this standard, we'd have a bumper crop here, a little bit of a, a less here, and more right there. So we could do easily just like that, except for we want to enable crop rotation. In fact, let me do it this way. We're going to fallow, then wheat, and then we're going to crop rotate, and we are going to wheat that year. So basically, you see, we have two years off, one year on, and that's going to help quite a bit. Now again, will that really be important right now? No, I'm future-proofing 100%. And to be completely honest, we don't have the ability to really harvest any sort of good barley or flax. Whereas, ooh, that's something to consider in terms of expansion. This region is terrible for both. Okay, well, I'm glad I looked. Because this region is fantastic for both. So we're definitely going to want to go over there. All right. Well, we have that figured out. Once we can, we will claim that with influence. And we'll be right as rain. All right. Now, this isn't going to do anything right now. It will not do a single thing until we tell it to, basically. Which is good. We don't need it to do anything like that. Now, what we could also do... We're already working on that. What if we were to go ahead... How much do I have? I have four timber. Here's what we're going to think about doing. I am going to build these rather short. I just need a backyard extension. So whatever it takes to make that happen. I'm wondering if that's a little too much. Because I could do that here. Now remember, I am kind of trying to min-max here just a smidge. Even though I do not enjoy that word. Because again, look, I could do this for eight. Or I could bump it down. and Or I, I, I could get eight wood, excuse me, four families. Or... I could do this, get six families, and still be able to make more. All right, cool. That works for me. And then if I just did the same thing right here, boom. Now we now have, now we now, we now have eight families that would be able to move in there, which just really helps production overall. Looks like our saw pit is ready to rumble. Definitely going to get them rumbling in the jungle. In. And a new family moved in into a burger's plot. Well, heck yes, that's awesome. Kind of replaces those people that we just left. And I'm going to go ahead and super fast forward time until we get to this point. All right, fantastic. Now we are going to be okay. I do just want to get into that double line. That's not really a double line, gentlemen. These guys are heading towards us now. We're definitely going to do a stand your ground for the moment. And we're going to automatically just get into cinematic mode. Look at these lads. Look at the detail on this. So this is something that I just want to bring up. The attention to detail. There is snow on their furn or furniture, their clothing, and their shields. Especially if they stand there a while or if a storm comes through. That is just that simple attention to detail that isn't necessary, but is one that really just adds a great sense of immersion. I mean, had they been standing there a while, they would accumulate snow and stuff on their uh, on their on their tunics and things of that nature. So just the little details are fantastic. And it does also appear that snow may be losing its grasp once and for all what i would give to have some archers right now because i feel like having archers in this situation would be absolutely fantastic now these boyos i mean they're not a bad pair of a group of soldiers themselves but i do think our ability to come in here and just wreck them may still be possible as well so we're going to give them just a minute well we have 115 percent effectiveness theirs is just a little smidge underneath at 98 percent and we are going to push them hard I like how George over here is like, yeah, you get him, guys. You got it. You're strong. Well done. Yeah. Oh, oh. Well done. We are going to push forward. Get him down, boys. Surely you guys can kind of take these on a little bit faster, a little bit better. Come on, lads. There we go. There's a dude dead on the ground somewhere. I'm just going to push this a little forward. There we go. No blood DLC here. Brilliant. We did not lose a single person. Congratulations, us. And now we're going to go steal this. There we go. Now, one of the things we are going to do is we are going to give this to our own 
itself. This belongs to my treasury because we actually do need that in order to expand into different areas. So definitely going to do that for myself. Congratulations, me. Uh, you did awesome and fantastic. I'm super happy for you. What we're going to do now, though, is we're going to get into some goat production. We're going to make sure that our hide situation is taken care of because we could totally use that trade for such an endeavor. Yep, we're definitely making a little money on the side. Everything's going hunky-dory. See you back in a little bit. Alright, we just had a new Burgage plot get uh, get taken up by some people, so congratulations to us there. We don't have anyone working the logging camp, and I'm not sure how that got missed. That's why we're not making any more logs. I mean, that makes the most sense, but still very, very unfortunate. Let's go ahead and... And now we've got some sibilance of order and confusion uh, mixed in at the same time. Now what we could do is we could easily... We're going to wait, because if we can get... If we can get trade logistics, everything costs 25 regional wealth, and that's a super easy thing for us to get uh, and, and prove and achieve and all of those things. So again, we're kind of in a little bit of a limbo phase where we do have some planks, we do have stone and some timber. We still need a lot more, and so we're just going to make sure that that happens. Right, a new message. We've received reports of a band of oh no, of a band of raiders roaming nearby lands. We will track their movement. That gives us 365 days until a large group of bandits appears. Now, usually it's like two units of 18 apiece, but we only have 14 people right now. Fortunately for us, our approval rating is going up, which means we should start bringing in lots and lots of new people. And not only that, but we should be able to be able to recruit more people as well. Now, normally what we could do is we could sell a whole bunch of stuff. And in fact, we probably still could. There are things that do not require a trade route in order to use, but I don't know if we want to do that or not. I really would rather not sell my firewood. No, I think we'll be okay. We do just kind of have to keep an eye on things. And I don't know why more bandit posts or bandit camps are not spawning. I would have thought they would have uh, spawned a little bit more. But it is okay. We still got everything in order. Let's go ahead and start working on our mining, though. I can't. Because we don't have enough wood. Let's go ahead and just knock out this stuff right here. I think that'll be pretty fair. Oh, my word. Well, if there's one thing I love about this game... It is the transition from winter and spring, but one of the next most rewarding things is going from spring to winter, or from fall to winter, excuse me. The next best thing is from winter to spring. We've got a nice freezing morning rain, and they're already starting to get to work. Now, what we can do, we have 25 planks. We can upgrade both of our hitches, uh, hitching posts. That will allow us to get another oxen in each, which means we'd have four, which would be incredibly, incredibly beneficial to us. Now, what we need to get to work on our other industry-minded things. Now, of course, I could work on the church, if I can find it. But we are missing timbers in general. Oh, it's barely spring. It's barely spring, my boy. And we just have so many empty places that we don't need to build any more housing. It's just not something that needs to happen. We do have more militia though, which is always super awesome. And I do wonder how much bows typically cost. It looks like bows export for a price of five and import for a price of 15. That's not too shabby, not too shabby at all. In fact, we may be able to clean up some of that here today and make good strides elsewhere. All right, so what we have to do uh, how close are we? I don't think we're close at all. 
We'd still need the clothing stall and we would still need enough timber to build the church which I don't see happening anytime soon, which is fine, mind you. It's just uh, I would like to get the showboat on the road a little sooner rather than later. And with our kind of focus on staying in the, the first, uh, I guess the first speed, essentially, I really don't want to ruin that for you guys. Uh, now, what we can do, we do have our small stable. We are going to order an ox at both places. Well, I should say once that gets done. But yeah, there's not a lot that we can do at the moment. I'm being a little more conservative than I would in normal circumstances because I don't want things to die. I don't want people to die. I don't like any of that. So I'd rather it not happen whatsoever. I think we're okay. I just think it could be a little bit better and just a little bit faster. All right, so the upgrade to a small stable over here allows us to buy another horse or another oxen should we need it. So now we have three oxen running around and doing all of the bidding, which should make us pretty daggum hyperactive in the good way. And now I need a wooden church, which would be five, five logs, which is an insane amount. But let's go ahead and go right here is probably no, 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 no. There's a place over here. You know what? Let's do this. There we go. And then what if I just uh, what if I just made this like this? I think I probably will. We only need five timber, which is just one more. And then I think we'll be right as rain. Huh? Get it? Because it just rained. Brilliant. I love it. Nothing else could I do against uh, the AI Lord at this time. It's just not feasible and it's not happening. Well, it's fast forwarding just a little bit into the future and we do have an overabundance of supplies. So I think we are good to expand and add more people in here. Just kind of what we wanted in the first place everyone should have goods there we do have some unassigned families and at this point i think what we have to do is we have to work on getting up to our level two and we do that plain and simple we need well as we can see here a church and clothing stalls we can do both thanks to our handy dandy notebook uh, let's go right we're actually going to poke it right through here there we go. And you can see here, there's a couple of sections uh, in which uh, people are walking through. It says purely aesthetic. At least I'm pretty sure it's purely aesthetic. We're going to do that and see if that looks pretty darn good. Bada bing, bada boom. Now, nothing else can really be done at this moment in time. Well, I say that. Let's go ahead and go into mining. Boom. And then we can start working on things after that. Because once again, we don't have much to do. There are no more bandit camps. I'm almost wondering if there isn't some sort of bug preventing more bandit camps from spawning or if we just happen to get really, really lucky in the number of days and stuff that uh, we just don't have to deal with it. What we can do, I can assure you this, is that we can start importing some more weapons. Uh, now, should I? I don't know. And that's simply because I should I wait for these prices to go down? I think I should. But that just means we have to play uh, guesswork just a little bit by a little bit. And that's not what I like doing at all. We also need clothing. I forgot I needed to do that. So let's get into industry. And we are going to get a tannery up and running. Bada bing, bada boom. What do herbs do is the real question here. Resources. Herbs. All right, cool. Great talk. I just don't know that I want to do them or not. We're going to go ahead and say yes. You just never know. Okay, cool. We have that all said and done. And with everything else in mind, it wouldn't be a bad idea to go ahead and start rocking and rolling by having that. We do have enough for a small stable. There we go. There we go. All right. Everything is hunky-dory good. We still need to wait quite a while for all the other things. The real question is, what can we do while we wait? We could make a few shrines in a couple of places. A couple of places where it matters. Or maybe in places where it doesn't even matter. Not entirely sure. Now, we do only have three timber left. We could use planks for quite a bit, but we're not going to spoil and ruin that. What we are going to do is just make sure that we have everything in order to be the most effective that we can be. We're going to go ahead and upgrade that to the highest. We're going to upgrade that to the highest as well. Uh, and we're actually going to pull back on the tannery. 
and then you guessed it ladies and gentlemen we are going to work on super fast forward time here Brilliant. Nothing like finishing up the church on a wonderfully rainy day. Oh, and that does look really good, doesn't it, though? Oh, my word. Okay, super duper cool. What we're going to do is we do have the ability to erase shrubbery. I really want that tree gone uh, because it's kind of hiding the beauty and majesty of it. We'll be all right. So we do have someone inside of there that is going to satiate the church level so all we need now is a tannery let's go ahead and focus on the tannery there you can see we do have our hides still under control and in fact if we wanted to we could export there we go just uh, really start exporting on some goods that we don't have uh, or that we have an abundance of to make things all work now, again, the benefit of having four unassigned families is that things do typically get built pretty quick. The downside is that you're kind of wasting things, in my opinion. Uh, and I don't, I'm not a big fan of waste. I'm not a big fan of waste at all. So I think what we're going to go ahead and do is we are going to go ahead and start our big addition. And I'm talking big addition. Right here. Well, hmm... I guess that's a bigger question. If we did eight here, I do believe that gets everyone going. Uh, let's go ahead and pump this out just a little bit. There we go. There's 10 families. And I think that would actually be pretty darn good. We're going to try and have them. That works for me. Very cool. And then we're going to go ahead and pump into farming. And we're going to build our farmhouse once we have enough goods. Now, we are fast-forwarding quite a bit, and I will say that that's simply because in the early game, there's not a lot that can be done that, uh, you know, isn't already trying to be done in the first place. So what we need to do is we need to make sure that this tannery gets built up first, and then all the other things come after it. So the best way to do things, we could sit here all day and watch this actually looks really, really good. Like... As dreary as this is, it looks fantastic. And we're not going to sit here and we're not going to do this all day. See you in just a little bit. We have families that are starting to join us a little bit more as well. Uh, we can go ahead and work on the iron mining, which will ultimately lead up to bloomery production. Uh, or uh, iron slab production, rather. How do I want to connect this is the real question. I think we do just want to kind of push on into here and go ahead and bring industry straight into this. We're gonna do that, which will allow iron slabs to be built, constructed, whatever you wanna call it. And then we can move along from there. I don't think it's a bad thing to go ahead and slap another person into this as well. And then that leads two people to start building up this, which is also equally, concordingly, and vis-a-vis -vis as good. And look at that, they're already planting all of their veggies. I'm sorry, I'm going to brag about this game quite a bit because I'm quite impressed with it. This looks so freaking good. It all just looks so freaking good. Oh my word, like look how gorgeous and cinematic that is. And I'm not even doing anything. I'm literally just setting a camera control and turning off the user interface. But my word... Does this just look fantastic? How can you not enjoy such a view? I don't know. I really don't know how you could. You card me a new nipple. All right. But look at that. Oh, I just, I, I just love how the village is turning out. I love it. I love it. Now, unfortunately, I do think something is bugged with the bandit camps. Because it's June and we don't see anyone. Now, that is a bit of a bummer. I was hoping for a bit more of a challenge in that regard because I really wanted to see what I could do, see what I could face off uh, with the, what was the best of my abilities. 
I'm not going to be able to do that. And because of it, uh, it just leaves, uh, it just, it's, it's just not very fun. Um, just that, that aspect of not being able to have the fulfilling warfare that I really, really wanted to. So maybe that'll get fixed. Maybe there's a hot fix coming in. I don't know. Something to that effect. And uh, maybe it'll come in and everything will be hunky-dory and I'll get the crap beat out of me. I feel like that would be rather aptly appropriate. Uh, but outside of that, we are working on making this. We're going to get this rolling. Probably for one last little time lapse before we end today's episode. And let's go ahead and get, go ahead and get a windmill on the top of the hill here. And then we are just going to go ahead and place a farmhouse. I am going to go ahead and get a well-drafted. And we're going to go ahead and plop down a cute, tiny little market. There we go. All right. One last little time lapse, I think. Uh, I'll say that, and then that won't be true whatsoever. But we'll see what happens. Fantastic. Now, I don't think these people will be in for a while. So fair to say, we are pretty good. Let's go ahead and get a person coming in here. And that will allow us to make some iron slabs, which will work in our favor. Now, unfortunately, there is no clothing stall. Or there is a clothing stall. Excuse me. Well, then what in the goodness gracious are you people? Oh, brilliant. Here we go. Brilliant. And they all, that's fine. How much do we have? We have 16. We only need two of them. But I'm gonna push for three. Oh my word, I should have done these guys too. That's okay. Once again, we're gonna make this work in our favor and it'll be all well and good. And we're actually gonna level up a little bit and see where that brings us in the grand scheme of everything, of everythings, in just a minute. bandits i knew that the warning signal meant something let's go ahead and rally these guys real quick we're gonna do that because that's gonna give us a, a little bit of an edge that we could really really use to expand into the next part for sure and give us a little bit up front now unfortunately i didn't get to finish this because we need to work on on making sure we get this done first so all will be well in the good in the neighborhood on that end we just have to worry about everything else. So now over here, we are doing fields galore. They're already farming. Why not farm some more? And I do actually think it's pretty hilarious that they could already level up, considering that uh, there's no one even there for anything. So uh, that is humorous to me. Like it, it is not, uh, is not gone unnoticed. Now we do have a small fortune over here, and I do think we are gonna have to wait the super fast forward time here but it still looks so good brilliant so we have a level two. Oh, and it happened oh we did it fantastic okay what we're gonna do is we're going under trade logistics trade logistics is gonna be the best option because now all of our trade is capped which means 25 gold to establish that yes we are going to export when over 30 and then we can also bring in what do we have here we need spears and we need shields now we can totally build these i am going to build a bowyer's workshop and i am going to go ahead and build a blacksmith's workshop that blacksmith once complete will build our spears and then i can build another one to get those guys in which means we essentially just jump started our uh, our ability to take on armies much more efficiently we only have 200 days though so we do kind of have to be a little bit quick about it 
Now what I'm going to propose is we're going to start making uh, bowmen right now. These guys are just going to chill here. This is going to be a nasty little fight. But let's get to it. Hopefully, we're going to overwhelm them. It's always nice to see some family moving in while a battle's going on. There we go. They don't stand a chance in hell. Brilliant. All right. Now, I fast forward that because once you've seen the first little battles, you've seen them all. And there's not a lot that can be done that's different. So here... Now we have the ability to expand, and this is where things are going to get wonderfully awesome. Because while I don't have quite the influence yet, we can expand into this in the next episode. And hopefully start uh, working our way into maybe working on our iron deposits, our berry deposits, and doing all of those things. Now what we have here is again the ability to make war bows, spears, and all of the other things we just do have to be careful so we do have oh wow we have 26 timber Ooh, ooh. i know what we're going to do in the next episode and i'm not going to spoil it for you guys but it's going to be absolutely fantastic we're not going to do any more expansion we're going to let this guy build up sweet so we have our blacksmith and he's going to start making spears although no, we need to finish our, our first set here. And look at that. We're already making bows. Freaking flacking fantastic. Okay. And then these guys do need to become a joiner's workshop. But we're not going to do that for a very specific reason here in the future. Holy cannoli. We're at 81% as well. I'm going to let this run for just a few minutes. And we're going to see... Kind of what happens with the city as a whole and to wrap the episode up we are in a large village stance which means now we couldn't do anything until we got a level three level three is going to be rather difficult not that it's impossible by any definition of the term but it's just going to be difficult and i think what we're going to end up going into are the heavy piles so now we only get six, I believe, six development points per region. So we need to be very, very specific. But regardless, that heavy plow is going to be great for us because it's going to allow us to be able to prioritize those people. Now, there is there are two people here, which is great. Oh, did we not? Okay, no, that's level two. Okay, so that's all right. That's all right. But ladies and gentlemen, the large village thrives and it is looking rather fantastic. We are going to end this episode right here. There's lots of stuff that I want to do. There's lots of stuff that we're going to do. And we are going to uh, do all of them in due time. But thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, do all the stuff and the things. Like liking the video, subscribing to the channel, turning on notifications. And the Lords is still going to go very, very hard and strong on the channel. With some guides coming up in, the, in, in just a little bit. Thank you so much for watching again. This is Havoc, and I'll see you in the next one.